On the boat deck, men began to clear the sixteen wooden lifeboats. There were eight on each side, a cluster of four towards the bow, then an open space of 190 feet, then another four towards the stern. Port boats had even numbers, starboard, odd. They were numbered in sequence, starting from the bow. In addition, four canvas collapsible lifeboats, known as Engelhards, were stowed on deck. These could be fitted into the empty davits after the two forward boats were lowered. The collapsibles were lettered A, B, C and D. All the boats together could carry 1,178 people. On this Sunday night, there were 2,207 people on board the Titanic. This mathematical discrepancy was known by none of the passengers and few of the crew, but most of them wouldn't have cared anyhow. The Titanic was unsinkable. Everybody said so. When Mrs Albert Caldwell was watching the deckhands carry up the luggage at Southampton, she asked one of them, Is this ship really non-sinkable? Yes, lady, he answered. God himself could not sink this ship. So now the passengers stood calmly on the boat deck, unworried but very confused. There had been no boat drill. The passengers had no boat assignments. The crew had assignments, but hardly any, anybody bothered to look at the list. Now they were playing it strictly by ear. Yet somehow the crew seemed to sense where they were needed and how to be useful. The years of discipline were paying off. Little knots of men swarmed over each boat, taking off the canvas covers, clearing the masts and useless paraphernalia, putting in lanterns and tins of biscuits. Other men stood at the davits, fitting in cranks and uncoiling the lines. One by one the cranks were turned, the davits creaked, the pulleys squealed and the boat slowly swung out free of the ship. Next a few feet of line were paid out so that each boat would lie flush with the boat deck, or, in some cases, flush with the promenade deck A directly below. But the going was slow. Second officer Lightoller, in charge of the port side, believed in channels, and Chief Officer Wild seemed quite a bottleneck. When Lightoller asked permission to swing out, Wild said, No, wait. Lightoller finally went to the bridge and got orders direct from Captain Smith. Now Lightoller asked Wild if he could load up. Again, Wild said no. Again, Lightoller went to the bridge. Again, Captain Smith gave him the nod. Yes, put the women and children in and lower away.